Well, you got, you're good. You caught some stats you never hear of. Say it again, Emma, what was it? 35 SEC road wins since your first year. Most in the West, fourth overall. Well, hey, one one matters the next one, don't agree? <laughs> well, it's very obvious that I'm awful proud of our, our guys. And our players deserve, deserve all the credit. You guys have well documented um, our stretch the last three weeks and four weeks. And really, basically all season, what we've, what we've had to go through. And uh, For these guys uh, right now, to fight through some things they've had to fight through, uh, stay together and keep believing, uh, it's not easy. If there's ever a teaching point in life, there it is again. And uh, I'm proud to be able to do that. The win is very sweet. The things we've been talking about in life and how you respond to things, what you're going to become, there's a perfect example of it. And those guys deserve a lot of credit from them. Um, it's very obvious that D was had much better rhythm than I did the first game. And again, he'll only get better. I still don't think he, he's nowhere near where he needs to be. But I thought he, he, he changed, he controlled the flow of the game tonight. That's what I liked about it. First game, he settled for a lot of jumpers. Tonight, he wasn't searching for them. He took them when they were there, and he attacked. Sid was much more efficient in that paint. Played to the rim tonight. Hit some jumpers, just played much more efficient. And I thought our zone did two things. Anytime you go on the road and not rebound somebody, that's special. But to go on the road then and keep them off the foul line, a very, a very good shooting free throw team. I think he shot five free throws for the game. And we shot 16. It was 13 for 6. That's a huge stat. Free throws, not rebounds, some on the road are huge stats. And we won both those categories. So, all for proud of our players. I feel like uh, Sydney kind of fed off the, the environment and everything. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't think that is. I mean, I just think, you know, um, I thought he controlled his motions really well. Uh, I thought he played with some emotion. I mean, that's good. You know, it's. You know, I hope he feeds and plays off wherever you're at, at that way. And again, the thing I understand with him that sometimes gets that everybody doesn't understand, you know, he's a freshman. And there's no substitute for experience. The experience he had the last game, he made a huge improvement to this game. He attacked that rim. He got in that paint. You know, Saturday he, he had a lot of fallaway jumpers. And there's no lesson you can talk about it until you go through it and experience it. They don't listen too well. Tonight, he understood it much better. Did you, did you think he would rate it by 36 minutes? Is that the big stat for him tonight? Well, hey, no, I mean, I had to do some things with this team. It's not what I want to do. And as, as a coach, sometimes it's not what you want to do as a coach. It's what your players are able, able to do. If you ask them to do things they're not able to do, that's bad coaching, no matter if you want to do it or not. And I probably asked us to do something the last game, more than we can do it. That's played too much man. And he's just not able to do that as well as he needs to do it. And it takes so much away from him then energy-wise. You know, he expended a lot of energy that last game defensively. Zone, we were able to rest him a little bit and kept him a little fresher at that offensive end. And as a coach, we just had to make that adjustment and do some things that gives us a chance with what we have, where we are. As things go on, as his conditioning gets better, then you know we can make we can make some more adjustments to different people. So about your defense there in the final few minutes that everyone almost when they will hit those three pointers. Well, we kind of we adjusted up a little bit and knew knew how we wanted to guard a couple little things and you know our guys our guys did a great job taking something into the game that uh, just didn't give a lot of looks. Uh, again, our players deserve all the credit, guys. All just, the credit. Just double three. checking here, Rick, but up three with like 18 to go. Did Warren get that shot off before you wanted to foul? Say and that again now. It's usually your philosophy at that point to foul. 18 huh? seconds. With 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 that much time. Left. Oh, I never foul that much time. It's got to be, it's got to be down there in that five or six okay. second gauge. We 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 were prepared. We were prepared to foul in that last time. Right. Nine seconds to go. You're up three, shooting two free throws. If we miss two, if we miss them both. We're prepared to foul them. Okay. We're going to foul. Don't bring that up. Don't bring that fouling up because the last time I fouled, hey, <laughs> <laughs> that did a lot of things to me. I'm just trying to get it down. Rick, you talk about the players, and I know you've got a lot of games. I know they all count the same, but I know they don't all mean the same. How, how important was this for you? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm telling you, 
important to me? It's mm -hmm. important to me because I know it's important to our team. Yeah. Our team, where we're at, what we've been through. That's the most important thing. I think we've won. It's documented what we've done yeah. here. Yeah. I mean, if it's something we've never done, uh, be then it's a little different. But in this situation right now, what our team's been through and what we've been fighting against, coming off home loss, going and playing against a very good Ole Miss basketball team, they're very good. And to come in here and win, that's what is special to me because I know how special it is when you're trying to develop your team, when you're trying to get your team believe in some things. Mm -hmm. You need something good to happen. And what a teaching point this is right here. I mean, I don't have to say a whole lot from here on out. Mm -hmm. um, this is a great teaching point they're going to carry with them now. You think the players fed off your energy tonight? You're, you're pretty up and down tonight yourself. The emotions. Am I emotionally calm? <laughs> <laughs> Tell officials that, yeah. I mean, I didn't, you know, I don't know if I was any different than it was, but hey, I, maybe, I don't think they had feet off, feet off me, but if they did, that's good. That's good if they did. But, uh, we didn't, we come up here, believe it or not now, and I know it's easy to say, it's easy to say. Our kids came up here with two things in mind, play with some heart and play with no fear. And that was kind of what we went in this thing, believe it. Let's play with no fear, guys, because uh, it's very obvious we had some fear in the last game. For all the reasons that's involved, first game from all that happened, D's first game, tonight we never had it. I never felt from minute one I left that locker room there was any fear in our guys. I like that about it. You talk about doing this without Rayburn really playing that well. I think that's a, I think that's a plus and a positive. When, when, we can, when we can get it all pieced together and working together as one, then we get better. Uh, right now, you know, we're trying to, uh, some guys can't do a lot of execution. you got to use them where you can use them at. And it may take away from somebody else, but it makes them effective. If we can get a little more bounce in what we're doing, that helps, it helps the team, the team will get better. And that's only going to come in time. I mean, uh, only time. I mean, again, just remember it's D's first game and Sid, and it's the first time we're playing together and uh, – and only time will cure a lot of things with us. And just real quick, Cody, I mean, you know, he had Huge. Some, some certain struggles, but the free throws and rebounds. Struggled catching the ball, struggled two or three times around that rim. And again, we left, you know, the first half, uh, were we down one or two? Two. We, they had 17 points on turnovers. Mm -hmm. 17 points on turnovers. A lot of those turnovers were just misplays that we had. See it two or three times around the rim. Sid a walk around the rim, a finish. Sid another dunk around the rim. Remember, you know, Cody a couple of times. And we had it in the second half a few times. But he did two things. It helps you win on the road. You've got to rebound. you got to make free throws. And he did both of those things for us. 14 huge rebounds.